participated in homosexual behavior? Really? Have you? You're like, hmm. I'll give you now the good news. It's 2013 <coughs> years, Thank you. evidently, from something. <laughs> 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 Let's see, last year, 2012, 2011, 2010, you get back to your birthday, hey, you, okay, you keep going back. He said, get back to Columbus, he, he discovers this, the, the whole thing over here, you're like, no, hmm, that's 1,400, that? yeah, keep going back, 1,500, you get down to 100, 99, 98, 97, you get down to 5, over, 3, 2, 1. Is it just me? Something rather large must have happened. <laughs> 2013 years ago, and we would not be saying, I'll tell you what, even the atheist, it's 2013 years since it happened. <laughs> 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 on the table is his life for years. Now when I heard that, I was 28, I owned a beer joint. And I was like, say what? <laughs> for the first time in my life, I then knew somebody loves me big time. It takes away any of you saying, Phil, I'm so far down, I just don't think anyone loves me. And I say, well, I'm the one that does. Mm -hmm. Look at the price that was paid for your immoral, drunken, heathen ways. Big price. God becoming a human and letting him, the Romans slaughter him like a hog and string him up. On top of that, he solved your second problem three days later, because trust, trust me on this one, you already know it, I'm just reminding you, you're going down in the ground, every last one of you, and so am I. You're like, Phil, I'm going to die. Yep. The good news is, three days after Jesus died, he's in a human body, he's showing you something Message from headquarters. <laughs> if I can beat death, a human body coming forth from the ground, so can you. I'm like, I want in on the action. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I'm going to get all this health care coming. It's going to cost me a lot of money, but I'm still going down in the ground. Yeah, health care going to keep you out of the ground. Not a bonus health care. <laughs> 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 Therefore, there's two of your main problems. 
Cotton and Saad have five minutes and 20 seconds left. <laughs> See, I'm the kind of guy that you're listening to, you just say, you know, I can listen to that guy talk more than 30 minutes. I know that. <laughs> I'm just giving you an update, a little briefing on the state of planet Earth. So your sins can be removed. You can be guaranteed you're raised from the dead. You came from your mother, no sin, because you didn't know what the law was said. You didn't know what lying was, stealing was, immorality was. You had no idea. Well, I was born a homosexual. So let me get this right, dude. You're in the crib, but you're looking over at another crib, saying, yeah, I got to have it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on now. You did not come from your mother lusting, lying, stealing, or murdering, or this. Too young. 100% complete innocence. However, we came to a certain age, and the commandment did come. Even if you were a Sioux Indian who had never read the Bible, never heard of Jesus, how could God look down upon them, the far out tribes and say, guilty, guilty. How could he do it? You think an Indian knew whose woman was whose? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> you say, did an Indian know when he was lying to another Indian? Yeah. Yeah. Well, sure he knew. He's the one that said, that white man, that joker's got a forky tongue. <laughs> he knew when he was lying. You said, well, how did he know it? He never lived thou shalt not lie. How did he know it? You reckon an Indian, four or five of them, they were sneaking up on another Indian tribe up the way about 50 miles. Do you think they knew that stealing was wrong, stealing those horses? If they did in California, why are they doing it in the dead of night? Real easy. Slipping up there. Don't want anyone to catch them. Who told you there's something wrong with stealing there, uh, running deer? <laughs> Why are you being so sneaky? You know those horses don't belong to you, now, don't you? They said, that's why we're trying to get them without them finding that we got them. Who told you that stealing was wrong? You say, God wrote it on their heart. We all know California. Don't we? Mm -hmm. And we see him. Yes. Why, sure. We just get to hold it up and we do it. Look, you sin separates you from God. Then physical death comes along and your fate is sealed. God came down in flesh. Jesus paid for your sins. Look, on top of that, guaranteed you can raised from the dead. I got two minutes and 18 seconds. On top of that, you said, what happened to Jesus? Jesus went back into heaven. Listen, without any rocket booster. <laughs> you say, I'd like to have a body like that, dude. <laughs> Me too. You say, we're talking glorified body here. Yeah, uh, but there was flesh and bone there. 